Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching us today. We're in Silicon Valley this week speaking with some of the best and brightest companies. And on the program is Benny Charney. He is the president and CEO of OpsWat. And uh, Benny, welcome back to the show. All right. Thanks for having me again. It's uh, our pleasure. I thought for those people who may not be familiar, could you give us the overview of what your company does? Yeah, sure. So uh, at Opsot, we manufacture uh, four uh, different uh, technologies that uh, cross enhance each other. So we have uh, Oasis Framework. It's a manageability and security toolkit that enables companies like Cisco, Juniper, HP, Nomera to build compliance tools, manageability tools, support tools, uh, uh, SSL VPN and ARC enforcement tools. Uh, that's Oasis Framework. We have uh, Metascan, which is a uh, multi-scanning tools. It's a uh, scanning content with uh, more than uh, one antivirus engines, actually many antivirus engines in parallel and really fast. We have sandboxing technology. It's a technology that uh, enables uh, anybody to run an executable on a, a, a pseudo virtual environment really fast and uh, launch this executable in this secure environment uh, used to the, today as a secure virtual desktop uh, uh, launched by a uh, Sonic World, so uh, uh, hundreds of uh, uh, customers. And then we have also technologies for URL filtering uh, on both client side and also on the uh, server side. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, multi-scanning and the need for multi-scanning in the industry. Can you tell us a little bit about why that's important? Yeah, sure. So uh, scanning with many antivirus engines, uh, we found uh, many use cases for that. Uh, one use case, uh, really interesting, is related to controlling data flowing from and to the organization. Um, so imagine that you have a binary and you'd like to uh, scan this binary using uh, 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 many antivirus engines. You are suspecting this is binary can have some harmful information. Uh, you have a web, uh, web form uh, that you have at, the, at your company. Uh, you have a USB stick uh, that uh, you're actually going to get to your company. So uh, one uh, uh, really interesting use case is actually controlling the flow and then adding our Metascan product to, to, the, to, to this workflow. And then uh, by adding uh, Metascan to the workflow, you're actually controlling and enable in, uh, enforcing much more security to your organization by scanning these binaries using many antivirus engines. How many uh, engines are enough? So uh, today, uh, first there is never enough. I mean, every vendor that we see today in the market is uh, bringing additional value. Uh, uh, the reason that we actually have many antivirus engines is because every antivirus engine has uh, its own vulnerabilities, it has its own analysts. The analysts are located in multiple locations uh, around the world uh, with their own holidays. Uh, uh, they have their own uh, frequency of updating, so uh, uh, scanning with uh, many engines and adding engines uh, uh, obviously add value. Today we have Metascan package uh, between uh, 3 to uh, uh, 22 different uh, antivirus applications uh, and we put that uh, the together packaged uh, for and as I mentioned one of the use cases is really controlling the data flow and then we have uh, other use cases for uh, multi-scanning which includes uh, ISVs independent software vendors that also we've seen them using uh, uh, these technologies uh, on an ongoing basis we, we've seen uh, uh, threat analyzers so uh, analysts and uh, 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 individual contributors or security experts using our products uh, to take binaries, to take files, and to scan them using multiple antivirus engines to uh, verify, to enhance, to see that uh, um, a, a suspicious binary is, uh, is scanned by multiple antivirus sensors. What are the results by, by each one? And if there was an out a specific outbreak, the, the, a part of this information gathering helps the security experts to analyze what was the source of this uh, uh, specific attack and uh, what's the definitions, uh, what's the, what are the characteristics of this specific virus or threat. Now, what about some use cases? So uh, additional use cases uh, for uh, independent software vendors includes uh, scanning uh, a binary uh, prior to uh, releasing it. So can give you examples of, uh, 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 for example, uh, uh, Microsoft admitted that uh, they actually find viruses in their release cycles. Uh, actually, every month they find a bunch of viruses in their release cycles. Uh, imagine that you have uh, 84,000 engineers writing code and pro providing binaries from all kinds of uh, 
uh, uh, locations, uh, uh, threads uh, are being introduced to your soul, to your code, to your binaries. Uh, so a one, uh, another interesting use case is uh, uh, for independent software vendors is, is a part of the release cycle. So you release the product and then uh, you'd like to, uh, uh, prior to releasing it to the market, you'd like to scan it using many antivirus engines uh, on an ongoing basis. To keep from the embarrassment of being uh, a company that sends out viruses to its customers. Uh, it's the embarrassment and also the value and also the quality of your sure, binaries. Sure. And uh, in, in addition to that, it's also the other way around. It's actually false positives. Uh, so last year, around April, there was a, um, it was very known that uh, actually McAfee detected a Microsoft binary as a virus. So um, that caused millions of machines to crash. So it's, uh, it goes the, 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 posit the, the, the negative way of actually hey, uh, finding that my binaries doesn't have viruses. And the other way around, which is, uh, hey, that nobody, that uh, the antivirus companies doesn't detect my binaries as a virus and will delete and then my uh, product will malfunction and then uh, my uh, customers will experience issues with my software. So, so as we wrap up, I wanted to make sure to talk about your uh, event, which is uh, in September? Right, September and 15, yeah. And what is the event? So it's the, our second Opsot user conference, and uh, everybody can log on to opsot.com, uh, read about this event. Uh, it's, uh, we are calling uh, partners, customers uh, 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 from all around the world to uh, join this event. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a full day. We're going to go over uh, the recent enhancement to our product. There are going to be some training sessions about our products. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, software engineers, engineering management, product management, support engineers, uh, CTOs, uh, uh, VP R&D CEOs are very much welcome to this event. Great. Thanks for being on the program. Well, thank you for having me.